Love it. Keep it going. Let's get to today's Daily Dish. A trailblazing female pilot going into space with Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Huh. Wally Funk was the youngest grad of the Women in Space program in the 60s. Cool. She was the first FAA inspector, first female NTSB safety inspector, but she never uh, was able to become an astronaut because, well, she was a woman back in uh -huh. the 60s and they didn't have female astronauts. She's 82. She's the oldest person to ever fly in space. She'll join Bezos and his brother on the Blue. New Origins flight launching from West Texas later this month, and I love her enthusiasm yeah. and her winning smile and energy. Good for you, Wally. Good, good for you, and look, look at her she's go. ready to go. She she's is ready to go back into space. To go. I, you know, this is kind of a big deal. You know, it's obviously we've already had deal. Elon Musk and his SpaceX program, and they've launched people into space. And this is a different one, different ball game here. So, and I believe, you know, Jeff Bezos, is this like the, this isn't the maiden flight, is it? Hopefully they've had a few test flights. I uh, but this too. might be the maiden know. flight with people in it. I don't know, but I mean, I, I guess know. he's putting his, you know. Well, he's going himself, so. He's, he's yeah. gonna walk the walk, he, you know, he talked the talk about doing this, and so. I, I, if I was Jeff and I had his money, I would have probably sent up several rockets before me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Well, he has 30. faith in his program then. I mean, it's Blue Origin, so good deal. I love it, I can't wait. When's that gonna be? It's coming up pretty it's soon, right? This month, I think. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll yeah so we'll out. keep you posted. Yes. Well, it's been 135 years since the Statue of Liberty made her debut in the New York Harbor. Now her little sister, taking the same route to the Big Apple and just in time for the 4th of July weekend. This 9-foot, 1,000-pound bronze statue is made from the original 1878 plaster model. Really? Little Lady Liberty will be on display along uh, Ellis Island waterfront until July 6th, just in time to celebrate Independence Day. And then they will journey to D.C. to celebrate Bastille Day. Oh, cool. That is the National Day of France, July 14th. She'll be in D.C. for 10 years. Oh, okay. So little, there you go. Little Lady but it's, Liberty. But it's like a little piece of the original. That's yes. kind of a neat little deal there, right there. You know, I saw a documentary on them piecing together the Statue of Liberty. It was mm -hmm. pretty impressive how they got it all together. It was shipped across from France, you know, in pieces. It's yeah, it didn't come all in one. No, it didn't come it's all like in one. It's like an erector set. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the giant Legos, right, or whatever it was. But uh, I've been to Liberty Island. Have, Have you been, been to the top? No, Did I, you go to the, I, it, the torch? It was August. It was like 95 degrees yeah. in New York, and that was kind of rare. New York didn't usually get that hot. And I'm sitting there thinking, I am not going inside right. of that, that statue. I mean, it's just going to be just baking. And I'm pretty sure there's no a AC I can in the tell Statue you. of Liberty. I went with my children many, many years ago, yeah. and my, my daughter, when we got about third way up, she got scared, and I was so grateful. Because I didn't, I was like, my knees were knocking going up there. So I had to, I had to go down with her. Oh, you had to take her? I'll take care I of you. I rescued her. <laughs> Thanks, hon. I did go to the top of the Empire State Building. That was cool. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. That is fun. Yeah. Some Ivy Tech students and alumni have created a tool to help in the ongoing fight against opioid addiction. So interesting. It's a new app that gets help to those who overdose fast. Faster. A one push of a button sends out a notification to others in the area with the app who can access the Narcon. These people who receive the notification can then respond if they can help, and if not, there's a button where they can push uh, call 911. The creators of Noxos OD say that the app will be ready to go at the start of August and will be available on all platforms. That's great thinking on somebody's part. Yeah, it really is, helping other people out with these apps, and that's, that's mm -hmm. what you know, a lot of these apps need to be doing, helping people out. And yeah, good for them. Yeah, that's a, that's a life saver and a game changer too. So good oh, for yeah. them. Mm -hmm.